One well, update now to a story that we first brought, told you about Tuesday after a trucker survived a near fatal crash in Muskegon County. His family was searching for a guardian angel named Isaac who helped out at the scene. Tonight, our Aaron Parsegian connected them for the first time since that accident. It's good to see you alive, man. Yeah, it feels good to be alive, bro. You were watching a meeting these two men never thought was possible. Well, yeah. God definitely has a purpose for you because I mm -hmm. don't think you should have made it through that one. This was the scene Isaac Tyson rolled up to just over a week ago. The semi Paul Maxim was driving was flattened up against a pillar of an overpass on US 31 in Norton Shores after hydroplaning on the wet highway. He was rescued and rushed to the hospital. And while he suffered extensive injuries, miraculously, he lives to tell the tale. I ended up breaking everything in my lower, in my abdomen, like my entire pelvis and my hips mm. and my femur. Everything is gone. After the crash and well in the hospital, he told his wife Courtney about a man named Isaac, who held his hand and kept him alert until first responders got there. Courtney reached out to Fox 17 to see if we could help find him. I want to thank him. My husband wants to thank him. We want to find him. And they got that chance Thursday. I, but to see someone put their heart into something and want to make sure someone's okay. And especially my husband. My husband's my world. <laughs> he really is my world. <laughs> and to know that somebody cared as much is amazing. All I could think to do was just keep him calm and try to, I, I kept, I don't know if you remember this, Paul, but I kept telling you to focus on your breathing. And, yeah. Uh, keep, bre yeah. keep breathing because I could tell he was in a lot of pain and I was just trying yeah. to keep him from going into shock and um, trying to reassure him that he was going to make it. And uh, so I really didn't do that much. Isaac, a Marine Corps veteran, is as humble of a guy you can meet. I was just going to ask if you guys need anything. I have family in Sparta, not far away. And I just, are your children with you? Do you is there anything you guys need right now? And maybe that's just the type of guy who will stop on the highway to help a total stranger. Thank you, because he is a father. He is, you know, our world. He is a husband. He is a son. And to be treated that way instead of just a truck driver is something amazing for sure. Well, you're, you're very welcome. I'm just glad you're doing well. It just brings me joy. And for Fox 17 News, I'm Aaron Parsegian. Isaac and Paul plan on keeping in touch. Paul's family, meanwhile, is waiting to see if he can be transferred to a hospital closer to where they live in Rockford, Illinois. If you would like to help the family out during this difficult time, we have more information about how to do so right now at fox17online.com. Good to see them talking yeah. and wow, that, that he was there to oh, help out at the scene. Such a great reunion, indeed. Yeah. I love it. Well,